Myanmar's president has opened the door to amending the country's military-drafted constitution to allow Nobel Peace Prize winner and opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi to run for president. They insane, the reformist general who's won international praise for democratic reforms, says changing the constitution could also help national reconciliation. President Thane Sain says that he believes that in a politically maturing democracy there should be no restrictions imposed on the right of any citizen to become the leader of the country. Their comments likely to be welcomed by supporters of the opposition leader who's been the figurehead of a peaceful two-decade struggle against Myanmar's military leadership and recently visited Australia. Speaking to the ABC at the time, Ms Su Chi said she believed that there was a mood for constitutional change. In the past, people viewed uh, the situation in very stark black and white terms. The military on one side and the civilian population on the other. And I think increasingly there are people in the military who do not like the situation, who know that this is not desirable for the country. Despite her popularity, Aung San Suu Kyi is currently ineligible for the top post because of a constitutional ban on anyone whose spouse or children are overseas citizens, a clause widely believed to have been targeted at Ms Suu Kyi, who has two British sons. The remarks are the latest show of openness by President Sain, who has surprised the world with a program of reforms that were once unimaginable, including the release of hundreds of political prisoners, liberal investment laws and the scrapping of media censorship. Myanmar's parliament has appointed a committee to draft recommendations about changing the constitution, which critics say is too centralised and offers too much power to the military. President Sain is yet to declare whether or not he will retire from politics after the next election due in 2015 or seek a possible second term. Robert McLean, ABC News.